When re-gripping your racket, there are two types of grips to consider, a full replacement grip and an overgrip. The difference between the two is a full replacement grip is much thicker, has a lot more cushioning and is designed to completely replace your old existing grip. An overgrip, much thinner, and the idea behind an overgrip is it goes over the top of your replacement grip to give you a little bit more thickness in the handle. When your grip's worn out, my advice is to take the whole thing off and replace it with a full replacement grip. That way, you keep the contours of your grip, which can sometimes be lost when multiple grips are wound around the racket and the grip starts to become a little bit rounded. So it's much easier to find your grip if you take the replacement grip off and put another one back on. So when you're re-gripping your racket, there's a couple of things you need to make sure. First things first, the grip's the right way up. Have a look at the writing on it, and make sure that the writing is the same way up as the racket. The other thing is when you re-grip a racket, you need to start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. Once you've taken your old grip off, take the new one out of the packaging, unwrap it and make sure it's the right way up. Once you've taken it out of the packaging, you'll need to remove the back exposing the sticky back of the grip. So start with the grip right at the bottom of the racket so it's just slightly tipping over the edge at the bottom. This is really important because if you've got any of the butt of the racket exposed underneath the grip that can rip your hand up when you're playing. Start winding the grip from the bottom to the top of the racket just overlapping the previous spiral that you've made. It's important when you're weaving the grip not to overlap too much otherwise the grip becomes very thick and you start to lose the contours on the grip. Once you reach the top of the grip you've then got to cut the grip off at the top with a pair of scissors. Make sure when you're cutting it it's in line with the top of the racket. Cutting the grip will allow you to finish at the top. Once you've got that you need to grab the last little bit to the puzzle, which is the sticky bit that you get with the grip. Take the back wrapping off so you reveal the sticky side. And then again, trying to get the writing the right way up. Start at the top of the grip, stick the end of the grip where you've cut so it keeps it down to begin with, and then wrap all the way around the racket. Keep going until you get to the end and you've now got yourself a re-grip racket.